Hi friends, this is Andy from Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the procedure to rip apart the HP 20 all in one. This is the 2015 series, and it applies for all quad cores, Core i3 or Core i5. The model looks the same. Uh, we will show you uh, the one that we are going to be ripping apart so you can relate to that particular model. Before starting, you need to have a screwdriver, a real long one, star screwdriver to be precise, and you need to have a set of small screwdrivers also. Now if this is the way your HP20 all-in-one looks like and it is mentioned as HP20 over here and uh, the base pretty much looks like this then uh, you can apply this uh, process with uh, absolute ease pretty straightforward HP has made it uh, although you don't see any screws over here uh, we will show you how it has to be opened the entire uh, base the bottom the uh, rear part of the HP all-in-one comes out first thing uh, put a cloth and uh, put it face down on that cloth and you can see the base like this and then you will see these two screws one over here and another one over here mind it uh, if you open this uh, entire base your warranty might get void because you need to break open the seal over here although if carefully you would do it uh, you might actually skip breaking the entire thing so let's start so as you can see these two screws are over here and we need to just put you this uh, seal which is covering so that it does not get broken just to avoid it getting broken we just need to see to it that it is open beforehand Alright, next you just need to take the screwdriver and uh, just very gently just roll it on the left side. As soon as you do a left side roll, you will see the flower bracket panel starting to give away. Same way with this side also, just need to hold it and do it like this and uh, the entire portion will give away I need to take a small screwdriver and uh, start producing it as I had said we could save the seal actually Once the two screws uh, have just been rolled on the left and this one on the right, the entire back panel gives away. So as you can see, the entire back panel is now exposed. We have kept the panel cover aside over here and we can start replacing the hard drive, RAM, DVD writer, everything. So this is where the hard drive is. This is the processor fan. You can actually uh, take a little brush and clean it up. This is the part which is holding the RAM which we need to open. These are the speakers. This is the DVD writer. So we'll start one by one. We'll start with the DVD writer first thing first. So we need to open this particular screw over here. And we need to protrude it. And the DVD writer comes off. So this is basically a normal DVD writer with a SATA slot so you just need to bite you need to remove these screws take another DVD writer and just put this uh, entire lock panel over here back and uh, fix it back inside and uh, you can screw it back alright so this is the hard drive uh, you can replace the hard drive also this, there's this one screw which you need to remove first. Remember, it will not come out completely. Now, there is a panel which uh, enables you to push it on the left side, pull it to be precise on the left side, and the hard drive gives away. 
So this is basically a 3.5 inches desktop hard drive that uh, HP has used in this uh, HP all in one and you can buy a similar hard drive a 3.5 inches 1 terabyte or a 2 terabyte hard drive and you can upgrade your uh, it's a SATA connector based hard drive and you can upgrade you just need to remove another 1, 2, 3 and 4 4 more screws to remove the hard disk casing here which is uh, holding on to the hard drive and just uh, very easily put it back into the notches and uh, screw it back so coming to the RAM part, uh, there are these three screws, one over here, two and three screws which you need to remove so that the entire panel which is covering this area, the motherboard and the RAM can be removed. And uh, you see the RAM over here. So quad cores basically have uh, two slots, one over here, one over here. The Core i3s also have two slots only. That is the maximum that uh, HP 20 all-in-ones afford. So you can take a DDR3L laptop RAM, actually this is a memory which uh, goes into laptops. So this is uh, a DDR3L SODIMM memory, 1600 megahertz that you need to buy for upgrading the HP 20 all-in-one. You can upgrade up to 4 plus 4 8 GB or 8 plus 8 16 GB depending on the processor. The quad core will support only up to 8 GB. The core i3 will support up to 16 GB. So you can do that accordingly. Just take a similar RAM DIMM slot and just replace it. The Wi-Fi chip also is placed over here just by removing this one screw and removing this connector. You have the Wi-Fi chip in hand so say a Wi-Fi chip goes bad. So this is the process we use for upgrading the Wi-Fi chip also. Say your all-in-one's time and date is not synced because of the CMOS cell. Just need to retrieve it over here and the CMOS cell is out. You can replace the cell available for under 20 30 rupees in India. What else? This is the motherboard. See, your motherboard has conked. You just need to buy a similar motherboard which is available at HP service centers and just remove these four screws and you are done. These connectors have to, have to be removed, but one, two, three, four, five, five screws totally. Once removed, the entire uh, laptop's motherboard can be replaced. It can be cleaned by just removing these three screws over here. Just remove the three screws. Before the removing the screws, you need to remove the connector very gently. Clean the fan, you can very easily clean it and you can again place it back. Coming to the speakers over here, you need to remove this uh, one connector to the motherboard very gently. and uh, remove the screws, one over here, another one over here. Uh, both the speakers are out. You can uh, buy these speakers on our website as well as on the HP Service Center website. And uh, you can replace it with the same speaker and put it back. Just uh, screw it back here. the connector back all right so friends uh, in this video we have shown you how to replace the DVD writer hard drive memory RAM Wi-Fi chip CMOS cell CPU fan as well as the speakers you can also replace the motherboard by removing these five screws and uh, so this is pretty much uh, the tear down the ripper part of the HP 20 all-in-ones Thank you so much for watching guys, do let us know your views uh, and suggestions and do not forget to subscribe to us. All these pairs are available on our website techstore.co.in. Thank you so much for watching guys.